Elliot. Art Nelson Concordia, this is my 11th year in the district, or, yeah, being a teacher. So. It's a small learning community uh, that uses the theme of law in the broad sense to teach the core uh, classes of history, social sciences and English. Um, and then they have an elective that teaches them some specifics about law, the principles, the history, the practice, and really the application, how they might be able to use it for their um, benefit. And uh, that whole thing was created uh, here at this school to break down the big school isolation that a lot of our students feel and that cause extra added stress which causes um, a greater uh, chance for just dropping out and just you know getting pushed out so the whole small learning community movement was designed to address that to create a small intimate uh, um, environment within a big school environment where kids can get support by from teachers that, they, that know them and they know, and from peers that they, they travel with and they build relationships with over a two year period. Critical framework uh, that we develop with the teachers of law. Uh, so collectively just sitting down. And we all you know bring our own experiences to the classroom, but we get to collaborate, and then we're all pretty like-minded in, in our worldview and outlook. Uh, and I think that's this, one of the strong points: is how we teach U.S. history, how we teach uh, English literature, uh, and what we choose to teach. I think the, the students uh, are benefited from. And they value because it's there's like a whole hearted attempt to make it relevant and connect, have it connect to their lives, their experience, um, their aspirations, and their hopes for their own future. If we could find more time to collaborate to build better systems to really address where the need is, and it's uh, kind of ironic that I think we provide an intellectual uh, a space for intellectualism that oftentimes more of a, um, higher skilled students thrive in. It's like, wow, they could just move away from this mechanical, open the book, there's a correct answer for this. If you just study this approach to learning, and it, it you know, they get excited over, over that. But because they're already decent writers, have a level of organization and discipline, um, it really works for them. And a lot of, I think the weak area is, though intellectually our lower performing students can really get into that as well, we're not doing a good enough job of making them disciplined, organized uh, students um, that, are, that are equipped with the skill set that they need to, I think, advance themselves. And so that's one area of weakness, you know, creating systems to address those who need more versus catering to those who already have. And then, you know, although 
that's necessary too. We want to be able to serve those students on the higher uh, performing end of the spectrum as well as the students who need to build the basic skills. But we know that building basic skills with our um, lower performing students isn't going to come from this drill and skill or this drill and you kill the spirit of wanting to learn. You know, it's going to be rooted in, well, how can you apply that to change your own life and to advance your own interests and to see that your interests are actually connected to the interests of those who are also struggling. So giving a, a critical social, political, economic analysis is the beginning. You know, but then that needs to be supported with a program, a writing program, uh, a reading program, a organizational and uh, uh, academic skills program. And that's that's that takes time. That takes time. It takes time with each other. It takes patience and it takes determination. I chose Balboa because this is where Black and Brown kids, working class kids, immigrant kids, uh, historically have gone. This is that school. That school meaning. The bad school, the violent school, the dumb dumb school, the I don't want to, why would I go there unless I had to school. And uh, to me, that's, that's what I, that's where, that's who I wanted to serve uh, because my understanding of, of how things work um, roots out the reasons for why uh, violence would happen here, why performance would be low here, why incarcerations, incarceration rates and, and dropout rates would be high. You know, I think my analysis puts the, puts, uh, the solution to the problem at a systemic level versus blaming those who are actually um, being negatively affected by the root cause. You know? And then finding, and then I, I thought, and I still think, that the solution to those, all those problems are going to be found with the people who are, at, are facing and suffering from those problems. And so I came to school like Balboa. I came to Balboa specifically because um, I'm after that answer. I'm after the solution. And that solution is going to come in partnership with those who are going through it. I was kind of confused. I'm on a boys' drill team. I didn't really. Uh, I was really messing up in school. I was pretty quiet. I didn't really talk to. Well, I didn't. I don't talk in class. I don't. Yeah, do stuff. I wasn't really into that until all, and I didn't really know much. So. Like I wouldn't even bother having like trying to like argue or fight back with anyone. Like if I want someone to say something, yeah, just be like, okay, you know, you know what I mean. I'm the kind of person where I don't really think critically, I don't analyze things, but then when, once I got into that program, I started like, going into more stuff deeply, like getting into what they need. Today I would say I'm more for what's coming up ahead of me in life than before. My perspective of the world just changed. Like the teachers, the, the core classes I've taken, it allowed me to open up my eyes to a lot of new things. I, a lot, I became a lot more critical about the things I learned, I asked questions all the time because then th this, this academy just pretty much made me write better, speak better, as well as um, think better. Political thought, it sort of poured into it. Mr. Rosenberg, uh, Mr. Concordia, and Mr. Wilcox, um, they've shaped us into very politically, um, very politi politically knowledgeable kids. Being in Law Pathway does not mean that they're going to train you to become lawyers. It's more that they're trying to get the next generation to be more literate and more like literate citizens, like they know their rights, they can help other people, and they won't be abused. 